Hello you beautiful lot and uh, welcome to my channel. Right, today I want to talk about consumer units because I think they're super important and potentially overlooked when building your off-grid system. Now there's plenty of people like me talking about inverters and batteries and I think it's being overlooked. Now don't think, oh my god, oh my god, they are complicated to wire in because they are not. And when you're building these systems to put in your camper van, you can squirrel these away under your seats and it's there to protect you and your appliances and your loved ones. Right, behind me, I've got one already wired up, the consumer unit. So what I think I'm gonna do is drag you closer and I will look at it closely together. So does that sound like a plan? I think it does. Right, let's get you closer. Right, here we are guys, I've brought you closer to the bench. So this is the consumer unit, um, I've left the cover off and I brought the cables in through the front so you guys can clearly see. You would normally bring them up through the top and through the bottom. So this is our incoming cable from our inverter. So, and what we want to do is look from our inverter to our plug socket back to our inverter. So what I'm going to do is just bring you a bit closer on the zoom there. So this is our incoming cable from our inverter and these two cables here is what I've spliced and brought up. I've also got a third which goes to our earth but it basically this is our in the UK so our live is uh, brown so in a roundabout way that our incoming comes in through the top here it then travels through the RCD think of it a bit like this and then travels to these two here now these three are connected by a bar that joins them in through the bottom Technically, you could use a cable to join the two, but in this case, we're just using a bar. So it comes up through, in through here, through the RCD and out through the bottom. It then comes through and up through this MCB and then joins this, again, brown wire. And that brown wire is this one here. It then goes through, out through the bottom and into our plug socket. It then comes out of our plug socket and back in. And then goes through this blue cable to this bar through into this kind of main blue cable which you get when you buy the consumer units these that blue cable is normally wired in already through and into the bottom of this RCD it then flows up through here through the outlet through this blue cable which then which then which then flows then back to the inverter so that's pretty much easy see from the inverter up through here through the RCD, that side, through for this MCB, up through this cable, which then goes through our plug socket, back from our plug socket, through this blue cable, up here, these two little ones, down this big fat blue cable to the bottom of this RCD on the left, and back up and through here. And we do exactly the same thing through our light bulb, which is just below, which you probably can't see, is a light bulb there. Right, chaps, um, I've taken the cables out of the consumer unit and this is the incoming cable. So you can see I've given myself plenty of room to work. Um, so always make sure your tails are nice and long. And uh, when you splice a cable like this, you'll notice that it doesn't come with any um, protection on the air. So you buy these on rolls. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna push this up through the back of these uh, switches. So I push them up like so, I'm gonna connect my brown onto our live. We're just connecting our brown, which is our live, to our live RCD, and our neutral to our, so again, this is the incoming, incoming uh, cable. So what I'm then gonna do is connect our earth cable uh, to the top up here. Now this is my plug socket wire, and you'll notice the same thing. I've given myself plenty of wire, and I've also put this sleeve on the earth. So I want to push them up around the back like before. Um, because this is the plug socket, I'm going to connect it to this MCB here. And then we're going to connect the negative, sorry, uh, neutral, um, to this bar up here. And then I'm going to connect the earth cable to the bar up here. So I brought my plug socket, so I brought just widened my plug socket in, so 
plug socket cables, there's our neutral, there's our positive, our live, and then we just connected our earth cable. So that's pretty much it guys. Now to wire in our, our light bulb, and we'll do exactly the same thing again with those three cables. One of the light bulb cables, the live, would go to here. The neutral from the light bulb would go here. And then the earth cable would then go here. Now you'll notice this earth cable here. Now we're an off-grid cabin. We would then use an earthing spike to wire that in. Connect that to an earthing spike. Um, if you're in a camper van, I would recommend earthing that to your chassis of the uh, van or your canal bike, which is also made of metal. So earth that out. Right guys, that's all wired in. Now, very quickly, before you go, um, for those that don't know the difference between RCD and MCB, which is, RCD is what we connected to first. Now, what that does is monitor what goes in and then what goes out. Now, if the two don't match up, then it trips. Super handy. Now, that's there if you, someone's getting electrocuted or touched a bare cable, gets an electric shock, it trips because bit of the current has kind of gone through you and the RCD has kind of noticed that. What the MCB does, it almost acts like a fuse. So if you short circuit something out, it trips. If there's a high load on uh, the MCB, then it trips and it's there to kind of protect the cable from fires and getting hot and then tripping. So an MCB is almost like a resettable fuse and the RCD is there to kind of monitor uh, leakage, um, something's not right. Now, that's what I very quickly say as well, I'm not a qualified electrician, so I do always recommend going to get professional advice. If you're not comfortable getting it fitted, uh, get someone in to come and do it, that is qualified. And when sizing these consuming units up, also get proper uh, quality advice. Um, quite if you go to your electrical wholesaler, they will tell you what you need if you tell them what kind of systems you're building so they'll advise you properly. So again, this isn't a tutorial kind of high on one end, it's just kind of there. This video is just kind of to show you the process that they're not daunting to wire in, but I really recommend wiring one in if you're building your off-grid system. Right, I think that's it guys. Um, I hope you've enjoyed the video. Give us a thumbs up, we appreciate it. It helps this little channel grow, fight these uh, YouTube algorithms and uh, I'll see you on the next video.